dead air sorry i just i can't believe i'm filming this but it's reality so i am already when this is up it's already you've already seen it or if you didn't see it go check it out i posted a video on new year's day and it was a 50 percent off target haul and it was all christmas stuff and i had spent over 400 dollars and I said how I didn't have a lot of Christmas decor because before I lived here, I lived in a small apartment um, and it looked like I had a lot. But then once you move into a home, because I rent this house, I realized how little Christmas decor I really had. So I let myself and treat myself to some home decor. Um, and it wasn't just home decor stuff. I, they also had like Christmas food and snacks on sale that I bought from my hot cocoa bar. I had two birthday parties I'm going to, so I needed two birthday gifts. But anyway, I ended up going to the same Target I'm lying, not the same Target. A different Target in my area that yesterday. Because when me and Joe went to Target the first time, he had bought himself a pair of boots for like when it snows and stuff. And they didn't end up fitting him. They ended up being too small. So he's like, oh, let's go do a return and we'll, we'll go to the different Target and you, got, you can see if there's stuff over there that you like. And there was, clearly, because I have many bags on the side of me. So I'm going to be showing you another after Christmas haul. This time I actually remember to take my Christmas gift cards. So I will say I did use two different gift cards for majority of this. So the first thing that this Target had that the last Target did not, they had really cute like kitchen stuff. I'm gonna show you some kitchen things. Um, but they had these little appetizer plates, which I thought would be really cute for when I host or when people come over. Cause I do make like charcuterie boards. Um, you know, with like cheeses and pepperoni and crackers and different nuts. So these plates are perfect for that. They had two different variations. They had this one that looks like a wreath, which was my favorite. Or they had one with like Santa Claus. But I really, really liked the wreath. I think these were regularly $3 and I got them for $1.50. So I thought that was an amazing price. So I'm going to package these up and have them ready to go for next year. I did buy plates, I think it was two years ago, because I don't think I did an after Christmas haul last year. Um, but they were like melanine plates. I think that's what they're called. They're like the unbreakable kind. These are really nice ceramic plates by Threshold. So, and I just, I love the wreath. It's so beautiful. So I had to get that. And then this plate I fell in love with. This is going to be so nice when I serve for Christmas and have people over. How gorgeous is this plate? So this was regularly $25, but I got it for $12.50. And I love the print on his Santa hat and the print down here. It's so beautiful with the snowflakes. And I love that his eyes are looking up. It's just so, so pretty. That was the last one. So I scooped that up in the mini plate. I also grabbed like tons of cookie cutters, um, but I'll show them to you as I get to them. I'm, now I'm just going to grab random bags. So I grabbed this um, advent calendar. Um, I think, well, I don't know if that's what you call it, but it's 15 days of socks, basically. And this was in the Christmas section, but it is men's. It says men's shoe size is 6 to 12. So I figured they would fit me. And I think I'm going to give some to Joe, too. And it's Hogwarts. So this was regularly $16. I got it for 8 And you get 15 pairs of socks. So that's really cheap. $8. Even $16 is not awful. It's like a dollar a pair of socks. But 8 is even better, especially for a licensed sock. So you guys know, like, licensed items get expensive. So this one comes with 4 pairs of crew socks and 11 pairs of low cut socks. Joe prefers crew cut. I prefer low cut. So I think I'm going to give him the four crew cut and I'm going to keep the 11 pairs of low cut. I might do this as a separate video on my channel. I did a sock one two years ago. I got as a Christmas gift and people really seem to like it. It was a uh, Hocus Pocus themed where this one is Harry Potter. And you guys know if you watch the channel, I love Harry Potter. I just noticed there's some tape here. On, oh, duh. I was going to say, of course there's tape on the side. That's how you would open it. It has the 15 different doors. So, yeah, I'm going to, if you guys want to watch me do this, definitely um, subscribe so you can see that. I was going to show you the inside, but I'm already effing up the box. But there it is right there, and you have, like, the different houses. I love that in Quidditch. So, definitely look out for that in a separate video. All right, so the next thing I got, let's see, I'll do this bag right in front of me. I grabbed another book. If you guys saw the first haul, I grabbed, it was a Target exclusive. It was the night before Christmas. It was $5 on sale for $2.50. This one is a little more expensive, but I, I got it. 
So this one was regularly 20, which I would never. Half off was 10, and that was already pushing it for me. But it's the Elf on the Shelf Night Before Christmas. And once I am a parent, I really want to do Elf on the Shelf. Um, Because I am someone I want to go all out. I want to make those memories with my kids. I totally understand why some parents do it, because it does seem like it's a lot of work. And I'm sure there's going to be days where I regret it. Um, I'm probably not going to go as drastic and crazy as some people do. I don't know. We'll see. But I do find myself to be a creative person. Um, so I would like to do the Elf on the Shelf. So I thought this would be really cool to include with my kids as a tradition once I have an Elf on the Shelf. So um, I actually, I know it sounds kind of crazy. I'm like an over preparer. But I have a bookshelf in a spare room. And me and Joe basically have kept that room kind of just for storage. I was debating on using it for an office for a little while because I do have like a vanity and a desk. And I, my old job, I did do some work from home. Um... But I was like, no, I think we're going to leave that empty because we might try for kids like within the next year. And I don't want to, I, I hate doing a room and then undoing a room. So my desk and vanity went straight into my bedroom. It's a little cramped, but it's okay. So that room has basically just been for storage. So I have a bookshelf in that room that has all kids books on it that I score usually a dollar tree. Um, that I've been just saving for my future children because I really want to instill reading with my kids because I love to read. You guys don't know this if you don't watch my channel. I actually have a book club um with my youtube that i post every thursday so if that interests you definitely check out the thursday videos i actually just posted one today because today is thursday um so yeah so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it since it's half off and elf on the shelf is really popular and like i said it is something i see myself doing so i figured this is something like i can maybe even like the first day that the elf comes to the house he can like bring this book with him and then it's something i can like read my kids the night before christmas when the sh when the elf is going home back to the north pole so i grabbed that because i would never pay 20 for that but for 10 i picked it up and then this i thought this was absolutely gorgeous i think this would be beautiful as a centerpiece for a dining room or a coffee table um this is by wonder shop which is their like christmas line 15 dollars. i got it for 750 and you can just put tea light candles and light this up at night this is, i thought this was so so beautiful i can't even see myself putting some kind of like mini tree inside of this like a mini if i can find one that would like sit on this base i don't know but i love this i cannot leave that there that was like the last one i picked up several pairs of pajamas i picked up one pair in the first haul but this one had way more availability for plus so i grabbed they were regularly 25 they're on sale for 12.50 and i did need to upgrade some of my pajamas some of my pajamas are getting like really dingy so i'm going to go through my pajamas throw a lot of old ones out and i definitely have some new ones to replace so i got this really pretty two-piece plaid set um they this one has like the original like i don't know what you would consider original plaid but it's more when i see plaid i think more of this with the the green and the yellow and there's, this one even has a little touch of blue you guys can see that and then this one's like the buffalo plaid and it's just the red and black um yeah i would say why does this one feel so light compared to this one but they are both 4x's i just looked hopefully they didn't screw it. sometimes it'll say 4x here and sometimes the mistake but it is 4x on the pajamas and worst comes to worst i can do returns i tell you guys all the time that target's return policy is amazing and then I got a 3X because I can't wear a 3 or a 4. Um, I prefer a 4 just because it's looser, especially with these because these don't have as much stretch, the, the button-down flannels. But this one, had, they had in a 3, and it's not a button-down flannel, so I knew I could get away with this. This is just like a thermal long sleeve with the bottoms. And I love when they have the little pot that gets tight around the ankle because I hate when my legs like bunch up while I'm sleeping. And this one's like a really cute like gnome print. And gnomes to me are like winter. They're not necessarily Christmas, but they are sitting on gifts. So it is kind of Christmassy, but it's just going to be my winter pajamas. And then the last print I got was this one. And it's like the white plaid version. Hi, Smokey. She hasn't been on camera in a while. Um, Mango, I don't know where he is today. Like she's actually coming out more because Mango's hiding. Usually she's the one hiding. Um, but anyway, I looked online when I got home and these were... 2150 online they were only like 15 percent off and in store they're 50 percent off and they seem to have a lot of plus leftover so i grabbed those and then this cereal is for joe because i am not a big apple pie person but joe loves apple pie 
These are limited edition apple pie toast crunch. It's the family size box. It was on sale, I think, because it's like a seasonal thing, but it is good until August. We checked the expiration date. So instead of $5 for this big box, it was $3.50. So I actually picked up two boxes. He, the one's already in the kitchen. He was already devouring it last night. And then this, he just grabbed because he loves goldfish. And he grabbed a big family size bag. So that's like the only like food-related things with this one. I definitely got a lot more food in the other haul if you guys want to check that out because i mentioned i did have i do have a hot cocoa bar so i bought a lot of treats for that and then i actually showed you guys this in the last haul this is going to be my ornament set for next year i told you i think i'm going to do like a red and black theme red black white silver like a lot of red's going to be the only prominent color i'll have some touches of green but not with the tree with other areas of the home uh but i definitely want to do like neutral silver white black and then red be the main focus so they only had one when i went to that other target it is 40 ornaments so i'm like ah that should be enough but then when i saw this one at the other target i said let's get it. i would rather have extra ornaments than not enough and i do like a really full looking tree i usually kind of like don't skim the back maybe now i'll actually fill the back so you get 40 ornaments for 15 but i paid 750 all right now I thought this garland was so beautiful. I loved, uh, I love a smocked garland. Is that what that's called? Smo not smocked, flocked. Because it looks like it's like snowed on. Again, this is by Wonder Shop. And this was $10. So I got it for five. It is a smaller garland because it says it's five feet. But I thought this might look cute. It, it would be too short, I think, for my entryway table. It might be too short for my TV stand. But I think this on my kitchen island might look really cute. You guys will have to check out next year my decorating videos and see how I incorporate all this. And then I have two mini LED trees. Uh, you're going to see, if you guys watch my Christmas morning vlog, you're going to see the black one. I have a black one and a white one. It's I figure what I can stick. My big trees can be my traditional trees. And then my smaller tabletop trees are the more untraditional. And I had a black tree in the background. You guys can see it's small. It's a tabletop. Um, so I saw these and I went, oh, these would be really good for my tabletop trees. So this is going to be for the black tree. I thought the silver on it would stand out like really really well so regularly 10 i got it for five so you get the star and you get ornaments and these are silver snowflakes and singer silver jingle bell ornaments and then you get a silver beaded garland so this and the black tree is gonna look really good and then i got this one the box kind of got a little messed up but this one is going to be for the white tree or was i thinking the opposite now i i might mix and match i think the white would look really good on the black tree but the black garland on the black tree i'll do the silver so i might end up just mixing and matching we'll see but <coughs> the black star is here these snowflakes got moved they're supposed to be over there but it's a black star black garland and then you get the white jingle balls and the white snowflake so for only five bucks i scooped those up then i also grabbed these two, I'm pretty sure I saw this on a Target page, Target Tucson girl. I mentioned her from time to time when I do Target hauls. I'll try to remember to link her down below. And she used these on our entryway table. She has like a bowl that she fills and she decorated with them. Um, they're regularly 10 bucks, which isn't awful because you get eight pieces in here. So I wasn't sure because you really only see one. So I'm like, is this two pieces, like one and one? But if you look, it does say eight pieces. So that's not bad at all. But to get it for five bucks is even better. They had two boxes left, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to grab both of them. Because, like I said, I can fill one with my bowl filler, and then I can use one, like, you know, with on my TV stand, on my kitchen island. Like I tell you guys all the time, I do like to decorate a little bit of each room. Um, everything is put away now, because my cats are driving me crazy this year, minus my kitchen. They don't really touch the stuff in the kitchen, so I'm still going to film that. Well, I'm going to film my kitchen so you guys can see how I decorate at least the kitchen this year but next year i'm definitely gonna do more decorating videos and then this i've never put garland on a tree it's just not something i my mom ever did growing up my mom she always said that that was too gaudy for her my mom likes very simple trees simple everything like my mom did not have one crystal on her wedding dress like she's a very simple woman she doesn't like a lot of color she's always wearing like black and gray and navy blue and she always did just like two colors on the tree so she would switch it up like one year i remember it was silver and blue we did that for a few years then she's like all right let's treat ourselves to new ornaments and then the following year then the next year was like red and gold like you know that's just who she is and that's totally fine so i've been seeing trees obviously i watch a lot of youtube and um, you see videos on TikTok, not that I have TikTok, but they go 
go share it on Instagram. And then I see Instagram and the garland looks gorgeous. And I said, maybe I should finally start putting garland on my tree. So when I saw this by Heart and Hand, I will say the sale wasn't as good. Probably because it's Heart and Hand and not Wonder Shop, which is Target's brand. But I said, I'm going to get it. They had like a good like 10 boxes of these. So I picked up two because I've never done garland before. And I don't know how much garland stretches. It says it's 12 feet. So I'm like, is that good enough for an eight foot tree? Maybe not. Especially because you go around. So I'm like, I'm going to get two to be on the safe side. So these were regularly $12.99. I got them for $9. So it was only like $3 off. But I like how neutral it is. Because it is my first year doing garland. I didn't, well, next year will be my first year doing garland. I don't want to do anything too crazy. So I love that it's just like wooden beads and like big chunky red beads. And I do think it'll look good with the ornaments. Where are the ornaments? I was going to put it side by side for you guys to see. Did I lose them already? Oh. I hope it looks good. I don't know. We'll see when I put it all together. I think the red looks good. I don't know if the silver is going to throw it off with the wooden ornaments. I mean, with the wooden beads. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If not, uh, I can always use it. I might do two trees. We'll see. So I grabbed two of these. Maybe I'll do like a silver, like glam tree and then a more neutral tree. Because I do have an entryway and that's where I put a tree this year. I never ended up putting a tree in my living room. But I have been thinking about doing two trees and doing, you know, one for my living room and one for the entryway. And then I did pick up a shirt as well with the pajamas. I do think this is technically, is this a pajama shirt? I don't know. It says Wonder Shop. So it's just their Christmas line. So you can wear it for PJs or you can wear it out. And it just says Joyful in the red and black plaid with the little snowflakes. And I was like, oh, that looks like a big size. And it was. It was a 4X. So I picked it up. This was regularly 10 I got it for 5 bucks. Um, and this is more wintery. Not, so I could wear this still for another month or two. Or I might just use it as a PJ shirt. We'll see. And then I picked up some gift sets because those are also 50% off. So I grabbed two different gift sets of hair products. This one, they're both the Scoonchie brand. I was going to say Scrunchie, but there's no R. Um, so this one is just a huge pack of black elastics. It says there's 70 pieces in here. Um, I've been using a lot of scrunchies more nowadays, but this one doesn't have that metal tab, which they say is not good for your hair. So this one's not, you know, as it, those. So I'm not worried about it. And this was regularly, I think 10 and I got it for five. So for 70, that's pretty good. And I like the thinner ones. And then I grabbed a scrunchie pack as well because I do really like scrunchies. And this isn't as good of a deal, but they are like fancier and cuter. And you can even like kind of incorporate them with your wardrobe, like if it matches my outfit. Um, so the scrunchies definitely have a moment, you know what I mean? Versus this is kind of like every day. But this is only a six pack. It was regularly 10. I got it for five. So it was like less than a buck a scrunchie, which isn't bad because sometimes I get dollar scrunchies at Dollar Tree, you know? So that's a better deal than that. And then as I was heading to the registers... Oh, this one opened. Whoops. There's a little soap on my couch. No big deal. Clean it up. Uh, at least it was soap and not something else. This was as I was heading to the register. I saw this in an end cap. And this is, I've always wanted to try this name brand. I only have seen it at Target. Let me know, guys. I could be wrong. I, or have I seen this at Walmart? I don't know. Is Method the Target brand? And this is the, you know, all brand store. I don't know, but it's Everspring. And this one, it says down to earth solutions that are up to earth standards. This is their seasonal collection. And it says white rose and cedar. So I don't know if this was leftover from spring or if this is winter. I don't know. There is like little pine cones. I don't know if you guys can see that into the design. So maybe this is like a fall. I don't know. When I think rose, I think more spring. But anyway, they were only $1.95. And I know people do really love this brand. So I figured I'd scoop it up. It's dish soap. I'm going to use it. I have a lot of dishes in my sink right now. So I grabbed that. And then, oh, here is the cookie cutters. So I could not pass these up. I was like, I'm just going to buy one of each because I love to bake for the holidays. And these were so cheap. I might even like throw this in as presents next year. Um, depending what I gift. Because there was one year I gave that to like all my friends or like sometimes all my coworkers. You know, I give like an oven mitt from Dollar Tree with like a cookie mix and I could throw a cookie cutter in it. But basically, these were regularly $4, and I got them for 2 So I thought that was an amazing price. You get 5 So already $4 for 5 is good, never mind for 2 And this one is all different sized trees. And I love how this one's like a straight tree, and these are like layered trees. You get all different designs. This one was all different snowmen so there's like snow children a snowman with a top hat a snow angel i don't know if you guys can see that so cute 
this one is all different snowflakes no snowflake is alike and i have a snowflake cookie cutter but just one so i'm like i like because now i can have different design snowflakes like that's really cute and then this one is all different sized gingerbread men so i picked those all up i mean for two bucks each i cannot pass those up and like i said i really do want to do like a more neutral red and black thing this year uh my brother's girlfriend when i went to go visit her <laughs> i went over one night and we wrapped presents together she had like a really cute red santa and then she had a red reindeer and then not red i'm lying black reindeer and black christmas trees on our entryway table and then she did more of the traditional colors in her living room and i loved the look of that so when i saw these i said i'm gonna get these i do have a black reindeer already i saw it and i showed you guys in a haul so this with the black reindeer on my entryway table next year i think is gonna look so good and it is these black like houses and they do light up since i'm not using these till next year i might leave the tab or i was debating i could decorate for winter with these so these might end up on my entryway table already we shall see because these are just really nice neutral decor and they had two different size houses so i grabbed both online has even more but i don't think online's half off yet i might buy another size or two if they're on sale we'll see but oh these are the same joe grabbed the wrong one there was a taller one on the side and i said grab me that one and put it in the carriage but whatever that's fine it's still like really nice like i said neutral decor and i can use two of them it's not a big deal and they were regularly 10 and i got them on sale for five decorative house figurine that's all it says i was wondering if there was a name brand um i'm gonna look those up online after and then the last bag i believe right i showed you guys everything else yeah I grabbed two more of these trees. I showed you guys this in the other haul. These were $15 each. I got them for $7.50 each. They also had it in blue and pink. But I really, like I said, I am going to do more neutral. Um, more neutral. Well, like, neutral with red. Um, And even though I do want a few touches of green. So I told you, I said, I think I'm going to buy two more. Because I think this might be what I put on the side of my TV stand. Um, I might put like these two bundled together on one side and then the other two bundled together on the other side and i just really love these it looks like a thick like knitted sweater it's so pretty and then last but not least i grabbed another banner this one kind of breaks my rule because there's a lot of different colors in this but i did do like a pink theme in my kitchen i did all pink christmas trees in there which you guys will see so i thought maybe i can use this as a garland for the kitchen uh whether it goes on the wall or maybe i can hang it from my kitchen island i just i've i love garland and it's something i've never like really decorated with before i've always loved the look of it so this one was regularly 20 and i got on sale for 10 if you guys saw the other haul i got like a candy cane one i got like a greenery one so garland is definitely going to be my thing i'm gonna have i want some on my kitchen island some on my tv stand some on my entryway table so this one says fa la 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 actually this one with that pink and blue tree would have been really cute but that's okay i don't think i'm gonna go to target anytime soon I i'm spending too much money um but i really did need christmas decor you shouldn't see any christmas decor hauls for me next year i mean i always stop in at dollar tree every year and i'll grab like their snow cloth and other like maybe like little mini trees or something like that but nothing crazy you guys did see like fall and halloween hauls from me but i truly i don't think i've ever done a christmas haul on my channel i think two years ago i did do like an after walmart haul but there was like no decor it was wrapping paper gift tags tissue paper and i still have that two years later i used it this year i put the leftover in a box and i have it for next year that's why i didn't really buy that this year the last haul you did see some gift tags and you saw one thing of wrapping paper uh, but no cards no tissue paper because i still have a lot of those what i really wanted to focus on was the home decor and i definitely got that and i do really like the kitchen items i like the cookie cutters like i said i might even throw this in in for presents and i really was obsessed with the wreath plates and the santa plate because i really do want to host soon you know my mom's getting a little older she was even saying like it was a lot of work for her this year um the only thing that's the only reason why i haven't hosted yet because i do love hosting and i did like have a little thing here for new year's last year with friends but i've never had like hosted anything with my family yet It's because i don't have a dining room here that's the only thing i hate about that so i i was debating like maybe i invest this summer in like a fold-out table and then i can use the fold-out table in my kitchen technically i could put a table in my kitchen and make it you know, which you'll see when i do the kitchen um tour i could technically make it an eating kitchen but i like space being in a bigger body i've always hated like things and i like being able to walk around the kitchen like get to my oven get to my sink get to my fridge and a table would get in the way if i had like a piece of wall and the table could go against a wall 
I'd be good. And that's how it was when I lived downstairs. But here, there is no open wall in this kitchen. So the table would have to be in the middle of the room. But for hosting, I could do that. I could buy a fold-out table, pop it open just for the day, and then put it away at that night. Because I don't want a table in my kitchen long term. I might have to consider that if me and Joe are still here when we have kids who are older. Like if they're still babies and they're sitting in their baby chair not the baby chair the high chair they can eat right from the kitchen island but you know as they get older i would like to have family meals together so i don't know we might not be here like that long from now you know what i mean i'm talking about when the kids are like three four five six i definitely see us starting a family here because it is a home but i do hope we do eventually move as much as i love this it's not our home and i would like a dining room <laughs> to be honest with y'all but anyway that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you shopped the after target sale they want to see your pretty face smoky she's always hiding behind things <laughs> so now i'm gonna put this all in a box and put it away in the shed it was a smart way for you to use my gift cards, honestly, because like I said, it was things I needed and it's not taking up room in my house. It's filling up my shed. That's where all my seasonal decor is. Um, and instead of me buying like, you know, just food or useless things or clothes, which I have so many clothes, although I really did need the pajamas. I got five sets of pajamas. I, plus my mom got me this set for Christmas. So I am good. Um, do I have summer pajamas? I gotta think I gotta go through my clothes. That's something I was gonna do while I was on vacation, which I'm on vacation right now. But I've been like just chillaxing and I need that too. So <laughs> let me guys let me know what you guys did for the two long weekends for Christmas and New Year's. Did you go out and enjoy yourself? Did you chill at home? Did you host? I always love conversing with you guys down below. That is it for this video. If you like the video, you like Target Clearance, you like me, you like Smokey, give the video a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, but yeah, like I said, that is it for this video. Be safe, guys.